Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. My name is Shay and today by popular vote, as you can see here, we are gonna be taking Bagheera on her first pony out trail ride experience. I'm so excited. I'm also gonna bring Gaston, Arlo and Jiminy and we're gonna have a great time. Stay tuned. All right, time to load up. I'm so excited. First we have Mr. Gaston. He's my Canadian horse. He loads really easily. All right, now we're gonna take Miss Bagheera, see how she loads. That was Bagheera's first time loading in the trailer since coming home from the auction. She did great. Now I'm loading Mr. Jiminy, who I'll be riding. He's in the third spot. And then Mr. Arlo, who just walks right in. Everyone did great. Let's go. I'm so excited to hit the trail with these guys. Okay, so we just unloaded. We are at the park and they're eating their hay. We're going to groom them and tack up. Bagheera is doing a pretty good job. She was a little bit nervous, but she's settling in great. This is my husband, Kyle, and he's getting Arlo ready. And then my student, Emily, is riding Gaston today. All right, we're all tacked up pretty much and getting ready to head out. These two over here. I'm excited. All right, we just got on and we're heading out to the trail. Good boy, good girl. Yeah, you gotta walk kind of in the grass right there. Yep. So the conditions today are a little bit icy on the trail. There are some spots that are really good. There's no ice, it's melted down, but then there's some spots where there's more tree coverage, where there's snow and ice. So we're just being really careful. We're not gonna trot unless we know that we can see that there's no ice ahead. Right now, it's like 32 degrees, supposed to warm up to 40 today. So it is a cold day, but honestly, with the sun out, it feels really good. We're just having a great time and we're glad to be out. Bagheera is super calm, yet she seems energetic and happy to be out, so I'm really glad. At least it's sunny out. It's not freezing or windy right now. <laughs> I'm also just really glad that I could get Bagheera out today and start working with her on the trail. We found a nice spot, so we're gonna hack out a little bit and trot down this straightaway. Bagheera just seems like she's just bopping along, hanging out right next to Jiminy. She doesn't really move up too fast or get ahead too much. Uh, she's definitely more forward on the trail, it seems like, which I really love. I really like a nice forward horse. And yeah, I think she's just go with the flow and all the horses are being really well behaved. They haven't been out on the trail other than at home, like a trailer out trail ride for a little bit. So I'm glad that we could get out. And once it thaws out, warms up, we'll be out all the time on the trails. And today is really about being careful on the footing, getting Bagheera out, and we'll also be switching places within the group. For example, I'll lead, Gaston will lead, Arlo will lead, and we'll switch spots. So that way the horses get used to being in different positions, especially come spring when I take more of my novice riders out. So if you're new to the channel, welcome, but we are riding in Michigan and this place is called Crosswinds Marsh. It's a nice little loop trail. Usually we do the loop two times, but we're just gonna go one direction today because it is a little bit icy and we're just taking it slower. A few things you wanna keep in mind when you're riding on ice. If you're gonna be riding on ice frequently and going at faster speeds, then I definitely recommend getting shoes that grip the ice. Borium and your farrier can work with you on that. Otherwise, if you're riding barefoot or with shoes, you wanna be really careful and pay attention to your footing. If there's snow, it's gonna be really hard to tell if there's ice underneath it. So as you can see, Kyle's walking in the leaves here with Arlo. Like right here, there could be spots where there's a lot of ice. So we're just going really slow and being conscientious of the footing. And it is really dangerous, so you just wanna keep an eye out. But you don't really know in the winter if there's gonna be a lot of ice until you get to the trail. So just keep that in mind. Also, if there's a lot of trees like you can see here, it's probably more likely that there's gonna be ice because the sun doesn't melt it as fast. We found a really nice spot to hack out, so we're gonna go.
Okay, now we're approaching a little bridge that we're gonna cross. So we'll see how they do. Okay, so the spot right here is pure ice and it's thick. Jiminy is like, um, that doesn't look great, but I'm going to let him know it's okay to go forward. And I can see grass right there, so I feel okay about it. We'll get across it fine. It's just that little spot. Not too bad. Arlo crossed it just fine. And I like that he likes to sit back and chill. <laughs> well, he goes, going to Except then he gets too far behind it. And yeah, he does. Literally the beach ride, we're like galloping like any other horse would be like, I'm keeping up. And he's like, I don't care. Yeah, the beach is totally oh, they're going. Oh. 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 We got a little surprised by a few deer. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got all that on camera too. <laughs> no, I can't believe, and there's four of them. And he's like, what the heck? He's like, something's gonna eat us. Let's run. I'm gonna keep you safe. I'm gonna keep you safe. <laughs> oh, watch that. Maybe Bagheera thinks she's driving, and that's why she's like, wants to be head to head. There is a big ice ahead. <laughs> so bright. Doing good so far here. About halfway. So We're crossing another bridge here. This one is a larger bridge, a lot easier to cross. Sometimes the narrow ones, horses will second guess because they almost feel like cramped, like it's kind of claustrophobic. So keeping that in mind as well, but they didn't care about this one at all. So it got really icy. So they dismounted and walked a little bit. Some of these spots. Super icy here, so I'm walking. Where are you, Jiminy? Jiminy is the only one with shoes on, so he got an ice ball in his hoof. Normally, I always bring a hoof pick, and I forgot, so, and Kyle didn't bring his keys with his knife on it, so we got a stick and we got the ice balls out. Um, if they have shoes, metal shoes, sometimes they'll pack in there, so, yeah. What? Okay, we're all back on and ready to go. Oh, good boy. We found another great spot to hack, so we're gonna move out for a little bit. It's not as icy here. Pretty good footing. I love the sound of their hoof beats on the ground. It's just the best. So we're a little over halfway. This is an equestrian trail and the loop is about five miles. Typically our trail rides are 10 to 20 miles, but for winter and with the conditions, five miles is great. Also, if you're enjoying this video, if you could do us a huge favor and like and comment, that way it spreads to more people and our channel can grow, we'd really appreciate it. Okay, so we're approaching another bridge ahead. So this bridge is also wide. However, it's a lot more noisy and you can see the big ravines on each side from the dam. So horses get a little more nervous. Everyone went over it pretty well. Gaston was a little nervous because he was in front at first. So we went ahead and actually Arlo led us. So what a good boy. I really like bringing horses to Crosswinds Marsh because there's a lot of opportunity for education on the trail. As you can see, we've crossed several bridges. You can see the pond over there, so they get to look at that. There's oftentimes wildlife, which we saw the deer earlier, but then there's birds, there's geese here right now, there's hikers, bikers, dogs, all kinds of different things. But the terrain itself is easy. It's a flat trail. And when there's not ice, it's really good for hacking out. You can get in a nice trot and some canter 
and there are a few little spots where you can go in the grass as well that are a little bit off the trail but primarily this is the main path and i think it's like a pea gravel limestone but it's not super hard so it's really awesome it's a great place to ride and i think it's just wonderful to get bagheera out here for the first time so she could see a few different things cross some bridges and it's just good for all the horses to do different things and ride different trails and never just the same ones I really hope that you feel like you're riding on the trail with us and that you're enjoying it. Trail riding, if you don't know, is literally one of my favorite things in the world to do. And I can't wait for this season. It's gonna be insane. Okay, you can see the trailer ahead. We are almost done with our loop. And I'm so proud, it was so fun. All right, so we're back at the trailer. I think it went really well, despite the icy conditions. So I'll see you next time, horse lovers. All right, let's go back home, guys.